They might be underprivileged, but they sure ain't underdeveloped. I guess they got us, Marks. Take a couple of squad cars and these big Tracy braces. And hey, what are you doing? Oh, I have oh, your back, I got it. Where'll I write the boys on 4th Street? Hey, where are we going? Man, we're going to camp. Camp? What, have we been drafted? I'm disappointed. I thought we was going to reform school. I would have been a sophomore this year. Oh, kid. Yeah. Well, what do you want us to do with them? Posit them in the bus. I'll fix them, cops. I'll go to the country and get sick and die and come back and haunt them. I swear. Hey, 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 I don't care. Uh, I'll stop here for a few minutes, just long enough to pick up mail supplies. I hope you don't mind. Okay. I gotta check one of those back tires anyway. Take me about ten minutes. Good. Say, fellas, don't any of you wander away. Look around if you want to, but don't get far away from the bus, right? Really do. Come on, honey. Yes, sit down here. You know you're gonna be a What was the bright idea of that? Oh, that? Just a little scientific curiosity, that's all. Law of gravitation, all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I uh, can see we're all going to have lots of fun together in the next two weeks. Yeah, so can I. <laughs> That'll be good. I ain't got no sense of humor, that's all. Say, so you fellas hang around here. I'm a little window shopping. Yeah. I don't like that guy's altitude. Me neither. If anybody thinks I'm going to stay up here and associate with him and all these cows and chickens, they're crazy. You know, I milked a cow once. Yeah. A very intricate affair. You see, a cow has four faucets. What for? Well, the first faucet is for buttermilk, the second for bottom milk, and the third is for evaporated milk. What's the fourth one for? Come to think of this cow only had three. Oh, that cow must have been contented. Oh, very contented. Are you contented? Oh, extremely so. That's fine. I don't get it. Hey, listen. You guys lay low, see? I think I got an angle. As soon as it gets dark... Make we'll... a break? That's right. Good. Hey! I'm thirsty! What do you have? I don't know. You got a menu? Oh, uh -huh, certainly. I'll have some of that. That's the name of the town, silly. Oh, that's what I thought. 
Give me a root beer. All righty. And uh, what do you have? Uh, I'll have a, a demi tasse and a large cup of black coffee. A what? I'll have a root beer, too. And uh, what do you have? You. You're very fresh. I hope your bread is just as fresh. Say, what are you doing tonight? Got a date. How about tomorrow night? I've got a date. How about Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday night? I got, got a date. Day. Well, that kills that week. Hey, what's your name? Margie. Margie? Margie. Uh -huh. What a moniker. Margie and Muggsy. Hey, that's got a lot of animal here. We're going to camp, you know. Yeah, we're underprivileged. We interrupt this program for an important announcement to listeners near Hillside and Colton. All citizens are warned to be on the lookout for the monster killer who is believed to be in this vicinity. This maniac has left the trail of three inhuman murders and is believed heading upstate. We return you now to your program. Monsters? They don't mean nothing us. We eat them every morning for breakfast. Bring those monsters on. I ain't a scared of them. I'm anemic. I was taken for a ride once. You were? Yeah, there I was. Miles from Times Square, somewhere in Central Park, I think. And them gangsters, they had me backed against a tree. And I got a machine gun saying one. <laughs> hey, what do you think happened? I don't know what happened. He got killed. killed. Oh. Fantastic, wasn't it? Hey, there goes our bus. Mr. Bus, didn't he? Yeah. I've been looking for you, Jim. Oh, hello there, Mayor. What's on your mind? Did you hear that stuff on the radio about that monster coming this way? Yep, and that ain't all. I just got a telegram from the state police. You did, huh? They better come inside and talk it over. Jeff Dixon, if you don't stop pouting, I'll scream. I'm not pouting. Who? For no reason at all. That's no way to enjoy a vacation. Vacation? Are you kidding? With that bunch of gorillas, it'll be a nightmare. They're not gorillas. They're young and a little wild, maybe. Besides, you know perfectly well the campus boys who are denied the things you've had. Well, all right, so they need the outdoor life. But I was hoping for a nice, quiet summer at camp so I could study my thesis and be with you. Instead of that, it's going to be as quiet around here as the fun house at Coney Island. Well, some excitement will do us good. It's been a dull summer till now. Well, I like that. So now I'm dull. No, but lawyers aren't usually exciting. They're steady and, well, solid, like the Rock of Gibraltar. And just about as good company, I suppose. But you listen to me, Linda Mason. I may be studying to be a lawyer. And a good one, too. Yes, and a good one, too. <laughs> okay, you win. You're a good nurse, too. <laughs> hey, you know that guy that runs this place? It wouldn't be bad if it wasn't for his disposition. Eh, hey, he ain't no good. But that girl that hangs around with him, she ain't bad. Hey, what's she supposed to be? According to a uniform, I guess she's a nurse. A nurse? Pardon me, well, I run a temperature. Well, anyhow, the chow was okay. I didn't eat it. What? It was full of bugs. That do you mean? I heard that nurse said with her own mouth that the thing had vitamins in it. Man, it sure is dark in here. I'll say, I can't even see you. <laughs> I can't even see myself. Hey, what's that? It's an owl. I know it's an owl, but who's howling? That's an owl. It's got four legs and fleas. How can you read in the dark? Huh? How can you read in the dark? I went to night school. Hey, shut up, will you? Let a guy go to sleep. Hey, Muggs. What? I'm not scared or nothing like that, but remember what we heard about that, that guy on the radio? So? Well, suppose he was prowling around here. Don't you think we ought to stand guard or something? Nah, you just go out and set a couple of bear traps for him. Happy dreams, Slappy. This book is murder. Thirsting for the flow of bright red blood. At this moment... Uh,
Good evening, my friend. Evening. You are a resident here? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Good. Then perhaps you can tell me where the Billings estate is. The Billings estate? Why, it ain't been lived in for ten years. Not since old man Billings was murdered in his sleep. Interesting. But you were about to tell me where it was. Oh, sure. Sure. It's up there. On the top of... Billings Mountain. Oh, I see. Is there a road to it? Yes, B but... Uh... Thank you. Good night, my friend. I know you. I know who he is, too. He? The monster. He was here just a second ago, just now. The radio said he was coming and he's here. And you know who I am? Of course. I read about you in this book. You're Dr. Von Grosch, and you've come here to save us from him. Yes, I am Dr. Von Grosch. I knew it. I knew it right away. And the monster, did you know him at once also? Right from the start. Couldn't miss him with those glaring eyes and red lips. The dwarf, too, like a little black spider. And the trailer full of coffins. I was right in the middle of the book when they come in. Where have they gone? Said he was going to the empty Billings estate, on top of the hill. Yes, the solitude he needs. Tell me, this, this knowledge you possess, you've gained it all from that book? Oh, sure. You see, I'm kind of a student of, uh, Black magic. Oh, say, I better tell the constable you're here. You'll need help. No, wait. We must proceed slowly, carefully. As you know, at night the monster is strong and the police would be helpless against him. I guess that's right. I know that's right. Perhaps... Perhaps you'd like to help me. Oh, sure, Dr. Von Grosch. Fine. Now, first, though you may speak of the monster's arrival, you must keep my presence a secret. That is of the utmost importance. You have a room, some place where we may converse? Oh, yeah. I've got a cottage. Uh, just take a few minutes to close up the station. There won't be any more business anyway. Fine, I'll wait here. Feel so good, I'm got a little insomnia. Why don't you put some liniment on it? I know where you're going. You got a date with our girl, Margie. So I got a date with Margie. So what? So we got a date too, and we're gonna keep it. You guys can't leave camp. You'll get in trouble. You gotta have a permit. You got one? I certainly. Let's see it. Hmm. Must have left in my smoking jacket. I quit surrounding me, will you? I'm going and I'm going alone. That makes three of us going alone. Sidewalks are free. Who ever heard of sidewalks in the woods? Didn't I tell you to be quiet? City of the dead. Do they too hear the howling of the frightened dogs? 
Diana Billings. Winter came after 18 short summers. She was beautiful. Hey, you! What are you doing here? Steve, mosquitoes are driving me crazy. Why didn't you put citronella on like we did? Citronella? I thought you said vanilla. I'm giving these guys a party. Hey, I wonder if we're heading in the right direction. Ah, you got nothing to worry about, pal. I got my compass with me. Well, which way are we going? So dark, I can't see the compass. Here, I'll give you a little light. That's a fine thing. Someone stole one of the hands off. Somebody stole one of their hands. You must have been a magician. A compass only has one hand. Well, why don't somebody loan me those things? Come on, let's get out of this shell hole. I wonder if this is a cow trail or the state highway. A ah, nice place for a picnic. You run out of toothpicks, you can use pine needles. Why don't you look where you're going? What are you looking for? Remember what we heard on the radio about that, that ghoul, that guy that sucks all the blood out of you? What would he be doing out here, sucking the sap out of the trees? Hey, does the guy really suck the blood out of you? Yeah. Well, I got nothing to worry about, because the mosquitoes got all mine. Ow! That was a Messerschmitt. Hey, what if he really was out here? What if you was back home? Yeah? Your old man would give you a hit in the head like that. I ain't got an old man. The kid's an orphan. Oh, tripping, huh? You know, it's a five-yard penalty for that. Come on, let's move. Oh, it's so hot. Bob Wyatt, hold it. Hope there ain't no bulls oh. over here. Hey, hold it for me now, will you? Come on, Muggs. Yeah, hey, I'm holding it, I'm yeah. holding it. Come on, Slim. camp when you fellas go to town. Hey, get me out of here, will you? I can what see my eight with March. He's going to be about as private oh. as the Delancey Street fish market on Friday. I'm starting to think we're lost. Yeah, we should have been in town a long time ago. I'd get back to camp if I only knew the way. Ah, uh, quit rolling, you're getting me wet. Who wish you guys to follow me in the first place? Hey, a graveyard. We can't be far from town. Come on, let's cut across it. It may be a shortcut. And it's all the same to you, Muggs. I'd like to detour. Oh, come on, you chump. We'll be out of it in a minute. Uh, how long is a minute? That's too long, brother.
Stop! After you catch me, I'll stop! Hey! There's a house! Where? Right up there, on top of the hill! Cozy looking place, ain't it? We ain't looking for no rich car. We're looking for a place to get Pee Wee patched up. Come on, let's go. Oh, there's somebody there. Say, there, uh, can we come in? Uh, our pal here is hurt. We want to get him to a doctor. place is this anyway? I don't know, but I don't think I'm gonna like it. Who is it? It's me. Listen, Schooner, the next time you come out of the dock, put a coat of whitewash on, will you? I'm so scared, I'm turning white now. Oh, I wish that guy hurry up. I'm getting tired. Ow! Good evening. I must apologize for the state of my home. It has been without occupants for many years. Oh, well, look, our buddy here's been hurt. We was walking through the cemetery, taking a shortcut to town, and somebody took a pot shot at him. How unfortunate. He should lie down. Don't you think we ought to get a doctor? Perhaps later. Come with me. calling a doctor. There's no telephone here. However, I have some knowledge of medicine. I will treat you, friend. I suggest you wait outside. Or better still, in my study. Thank you. Okay. Come on, fellas. Uh, see you later. We've looked everywhere, not a sign of them. Did you look down by the lake? Yes, everywhere. Well, what are you going to do? Nothing. Well, Jeff, we've got to find them. They're city kids. If they're lost in the woods... I they'll... hope they are. Jeff Dixon, do you know what you're saying? I certainly do. Those kids have been nothing but trouble from the beginning. If they're lost, it's their own fault. So you're going to sit there all night? Oh. Hey, what are you going to do? If you're not man enough to go after them, I'll do it myself. But, but Linda... Hey, maybe she's serious. She's been reading Florence Nightingale. She'll be back when she gets tired. Hey, I don't like the looks of this place. Neither do I. Let's get out of here, huh? Hey, yeah, let's get out of here. Well, and leave Pee-wee here. We gotta wait till he's doctored up. Hey, you think that bird up there's all right? What if he's a... Uh... What if he's what? I don't know, but I sure hope he hurries up. Me too.
What's the matter? There's a skeleton in there. He was laughing right in my face. Yeah, what's he so happy about? A skull! Go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead, look, look. Go ahead, look for yourself. Go ahead, go ahead. Uh, there ain't nothing in there. Do it. No, do it. Whoa. You picture that? Aye, aye, I've seen it with my own eyes. Do you feel all right, kid? I never felt better in my life. But, uh, do you think we ought to get back? Get out of here, huh? Without Pee Wee? We'll get, we'll go up and see what's wrong with Pee Wee now, huh? Yeah. Come on. Get up there first. How's Pee Wee? Pee Wee? Oh, your friend. He's resting well. Well, we want to see him. Um, I suggest you should not disturb him. Uh, we ain't gonna disturb him, we just wanna see him. Hey, hey, Pee Wee. He's dead. Not at all. He's merely asleep. Yeah? What you do, give him a Mickey or something? No, your friend was in pain, and I found it necessary to give him a mild sedative. You see, I have given him the proper treatment. Well, how are we gonna get out of here with him like that? Or leaving is out of the question. Your friend must not be moved. But we gotta get back to camp. Yeah, I'm hungry. Vitamins or no vitamins. Oh, he's talking about food. We can't leave Pee-wee here alone. That will not be necessary. My home is not equipped for visitors, but Luigi prepared rooms for you. You will be my guest for the night. Come, I show you to your rooms. That's fine, but one of us is staying here. Hey, Scruto, you keep Pee-wee company. Hurry. Who, 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 me? Yeah, you. We'll take time. I'll relieve you later. Okay, Mr. Uh... You will notice uh, this is a very old house. In some respect, a very strange one. You ain't kidding. The maid service in this hotel is terrible. <laughs> Hey, Glippy, you and Skinny take that room. Just me and Skinny? What do you want, a nurse? Don't forget to call.